Hey guys, you're watching BTEC. I'm Basil. This is the Sony Xperia XZ Premium. The XZ Premium packs a 4K display complete with HDR technology. It's the world's first. It also has a new improved camera sensor as well as a whole load of other stuff, which I'll jump onto in a sec. But if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It's how you'll stay on top of all our MWC 2017 coverage. Right, back to this phone. And you can expect a very similar design to what we've seen from Sony before. Identical ports to the XZ, USB Type-C, physical camera button, which is great volume rocker and a fingerprint scanner slash power button you've also got stereo front firing speakers but it's just in a bigger form factor with a few design enhancements like that chamfered edging around the sides and you've also got a glass back fingerprint loving and reflective but many people will like that and find it more premium than the alkalido finish on the xz when it comes to the screen the hdr tech really really does make it pop nicely 4k resolution side by side with the z5 premium it looks way better for anyone concerned about too many pixels in too small a space 800 pixels per inch it's absolutely nailing it now when we go into the user interface Android 7 with very very few changes from what we've seen from Sony in the past there's a new cool wallpaper that changes as you scroll through but ultimately Android 7 means loads of app support and the same Sony UI that we've known to really grown to really like in past phones when it comes to power under the hood 835 that's the Snapdragon 835 oh yeah this is cutting 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 edge Four gigabytes of RAM is decent, and you've also got 64 gigabytes of internal storage. This is really, really good stuff. I'm very excited to be getting my hands on one of these to review. Now, it hasn't got the biggest battery in the world. It's 3,230 milliamps. Not tiny, but definitely for a 5.5 inch Quad HD phone. Really looking forward to seeing how that Snapdragon 835 handles it. Will it be more efficient, or will it be a battery hog? We'll find out when we get a review device in. But the real pair resistance isn't actually that screen for me it's that camera I'm stoked to see if the new 19 megapixel sensor from Sony is a real improvement over its predecessor it's got 19% larger pixels so it should be better in low light it's also the world's first memory stacked image sensor too and that means it's capable of recording 960 frame per second slow motion video current high speeds are 240 frame per second so that is very very exciting you can see you can get, grab short bursts of super fast video and it's very very effective, very, very dramatic. It also has some other cool features like predictive capture. It captures up to four shots before you even take a single picture. Now, a few other key elements include the fact that it's got Gorilla Glass 5 front and back. They're also gonna be partnering with Amazon Prime Video for 4K streaming, which is gonna be an HDR as well for a mobile phone. That's pretty impressive. And the fact the Snapdragon 835 is on board means you've got Cat 16 LTE speeds, which also translates to one gigabyte per second downloads bonkers so yeah that's the xz premium in a nutshell it looks mightily impressive on paper and it looks very pretty in real life let us know what you think in the comments section below sony back in the race they could very well be thanks for watching btect